Welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to give three useful bits of knowledge in how you can plan your solar system to make the most cost-effective and efficient system for your budget. So one of the first questions you're going to have is what size, what size battery bank are you going to need, what size inverter, how many solar panels, what size charge controller. To know that and to get the answers to these questions you're going to need to know what you're going to use, how much energy you're going to consume. So let's jump in with the first tip and this is the solar calculator. Um, I'm giving you an example. I'm sure there's many here on the internet, but this one I'm showing you here is uh, from Bimble Solar. These are the guys that we bought most of our solar equipment from. I don't have any affiliate links. I just like their solar calculator. I think it's a really good start and a really good place to get a better idea of how much your appliances are going to consume in a 24 hour period. Now, having a play around with this, it's not perfect. For example, with the fridges, it seems to work out the consumption of the fridge in a 24 hour period, consuming the fridges on all the time. And of course, fridges don't run 24 hours a day. They run half an hour here, hour there. So that doesn't give you a super accurate idea of consumption. But in a lot of cases, for example, with lights and computers, it's gonna build up a picture and it's definitely going to give you an idea of what your consumption is. One of the options I like is where you can overspec your system. The, the standard one that comes up is 50%, but you can also select 75, 100%, probably even 200%. And why this is really important is because if you build a solar system that's just going to meet your requirements, that's going to be great on the on sunny days and on the days where you're getting enough energy to meet that requirement. But when the weather isn't so good, when you're not getting as much energy that you like or need from the sun, you're going to have to rely more on what you're able to store in the batteries. The more you can overspec and the more you can budget to overspec, it's just going to give you a great amount of time that you can run the system on rainy or cloudy days. And the second tip, and this is really following on from the solar calculator, and it's called a power meter. They're very inexpensive and they're very easy to get hold of. These are great because these will give you an accurate reading of what your consumption is per device. So for example, you can plug your fridge into this if you've got these numbers and figures and you go back to the solar calculator I was referring to, you know, you're going to get a much more accurate picture of your consumption. And the longer the period of time you can use one of these for with a device, so for a fridge example, if you can, if you have it plugged in for a week, then you're going to get a much greater average over those seven days than if you just do it for 24 hours. Um, but 24 hours in the summer is going to be very different than 24 hours in the winter. So the bigger time window that you have used this for, the more accurate it's going to give you. And I also really like the fact that you can get real time power consumption readings and max and ma maximum power consumption readings. And this is really helpful when you're looking at specking your inverter to know or to give you an idea what your maximum consumption in watts is going to be. The last tip is actually an app that you can get for your phone. I believe you can get it for Android as well as Apple phones. And this is really amazing app. When I first came across this, I was like, wow. What this app does, it's a solar tracker and it can tell you and pinpoint exactly where the sun is going to be, where you are currently standing on a given day at a given time. And so for us, we're in the mountains. We have a big mountain in front of us. So in the winters, the sun doesn't come up till around 11 o'clock and it sets around three. So we, I know in the winter on the shortest day of the year, I'm gonna get four hours of sun at the, at the best. And yeah, again, going back to the solar calculator and doing working out how you're gonna spec your system, this information is really, really priceless. You can go both, both the shortest day, the longest day of the year. You can even scroll through the menu and you can pick a particular day, hold it up and you'll see where the sun's gonna rise and where it's gonna sunset real time, as if you were on that day. So this is a really, really good tool and tip 
particularly if you're looking at buying land also living off grid how much sun you're going to get at what day and time of the year so that's that's my three tips i hope these are really helpful to you please leave a comment or ask any questions you have in the comment section below please like and subscribe and look forward to seeing you in the next video ciao for now